So here we're on our uh, remote server and um, we're gonna have to install a couple of things. Let me clear the screen. Um, we're gonna install um, Python pip because we need pip uh, to install packages. And we're also gonna install Python dev, which is a collection of, um, of utilities that we, we require. So enter the password and click yes. Perfect, so we're done here. So um, we're in our home Jorge apps flash blog. And remember, we don't have a, a VNV virtual environment folder there. So we can go ahead and, um, and do that. First, we need to install it though. So we're gonna uh, install server-wide. That's why we're using sudo pip install uh, virtual env so that it's available for all users. And after that, um, we're not going to install uh, any other packages, um, or at least we shouldn't uh, install any other uh, packages server-wide, but uh, instead we should use um, uh, pip install and, and you know virtual environment. So let's create the virtual environment. Um, so we're going to do uh, virtual env, virtual env. And here we're going to use ppython3. Remember that we, we used Python3 for our, our uh, flash blog. So it's going to have that version of, of, of Python and then VENV. Perfect. So now we have our VENV. So if we do source van bin activate um, and we say which Python to see which Python it's uh, referencing, it's referencing that. And if we do Python dash V, it should say 3.4, which is Python 3.4. Perfect. So uh, we're almost there. Um, one thing that we need to install, and um, it's something that uh, it's not on the requirements TXT. So as you remember, what the things that we had in, in, in the requirements TXT was Flask, uh, PyMySQL, Flask SQL Alchemy, Flask Script, W2F, Migrate, Py, Bcrypt, Slugify, Markdown, and uh, our custom Flask uploads. Um, but um, there's something called um, a uh, uh, kind of like a, a Python um, whiskey server. So remember how we have, uh, normally we do Python manage py, um, manage, uh, I mean Python manage py run server that run server utilize, utilizes something called a whiskey, a WSGI uh, server that then would expose things to the world. In this case, the way that it's going to run is uh, Nginx is the one that first grabs the request, but then it needs to like send it to an application that's listening somewhere. And we're not going to use, um, you know, run server in this case, we're going to use um, a an external library that is really, really good as well called Goonicorn. Um, and uh, it's a it's a very good, like non-blocking, uh, very fast and efficient um, library. So we're gonna do that. Um, first, we're gonna, um, let's clear the screen. Let's go ahead and do install our requirements, txt. So that installs all the, all the packages. Oh, we don't have git installed. We need Git to be able to uh, to get the Flask uploads uh, custom <clears throat> uh, library. So let's do that. sudo apt get install git. And by the way, um, if you the best way to kind of like get your code uh, into the server is via git. Like SCP is good if you have like your code locally, etc. But as you know, you know I, I recommend that you use Git, so you would only do like Git clone here and and kind of like check out all all your code. So I highly recommend that. And remember, I have an excellent uh, Git course. Um, contact me if you want to get a um, uh, a coupon for it. Um, and because uh, I think that you should definitely use use Git for everything you do in 
in your development uh, careers. But having said that, uh, let's try again. Pip install requirements.txt. Okay, so we're getting an error here with, um, I think we need GCC install because it's uh, uh, Bicrypt, uh, Bcrypt is um, it's a especially like heavy kind of like um, um, user of the GCC, um, um, what you might call it, library. So let me try doing sudo app get install GCC and see if, if that solves the problem. Um, so it looks like it's, so it's already there. So I'm going to do it like a, a small Google lookup and, and, and we'll, we'll be back. So I did a Google lookup on Bcrypt include Python H and it looks like it's, it's, um, it has to do with Python uh, three. So because we did install already Python dev, um, here's a person that says, um, Python three dev to be installed. So let's see if that, that solves the, the problem. So sudo uh, oop, app get install so click yes. Okay, so now that it's done, I'm gonna uh, try again the pip install, see what happens. And so let me clear the screen. And let's do that again. Perfect, that worked, awesome. So we have our, um, our virtual environment um, and the packages installed. And so like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna install this extra package called pip installed Goonicorn and that's going to be our whiskey uh, server and that installs Goonicorn perfect so now we're no, we're uh, we're going to have to create a configuration file for the Goonicorn application to um, to run up so let's see how we do that 